it's the Game Room Tamed. I am back from Italy from my three weeks and a half in Italy and I got back this morning at 5.30 in the morning. Great. Was, why do I just sound really British then? That was really weird. Anyway, so I feel jet lagged a little bit. I feel like my head is spinning for some odd reason and I'm trying to make this video because I really want to make a video and put out one because I feel so behind and stuff. But I want to give you a quick recap of Italy of what's just happened and where I've gone. So basically we started on the September 6th which is when I caught the plane and it was I had to spend a day on the plane and that was really sickening. There was one, one part where I honestly just died. But I was fine and we went to Rome first. We spent five nights in Rome. Then we went to a place called Salerno, which is where we went to go see Pompeii. And it's close to there. And we saw a lot of prostitutes. That was fun. That was very strange. And I've never seen that before in my life. I don't know if I want to again. That was actually crazy. Like, I don't see fat people in short skirts up their ass. It's disgusting. Anyway, and also just think about them taking the men up. Anyway, that's really out of the question. I think we were there for three nights. Yeah. And, or two, three. And then I went up to Vasto, uh, where my nonna lived. Lived. She lived in a little village close to there called Pulutri. So we stayed in Vasto and went to, we stayed there for one night so we could go see her family. We ate at a ridiculous hour of nine at night. Italians eat late. And then from there we went to Assisi and we stayed there for three nights, I think. Assisi is beautiful. You have no idea, or two nights, I don't know. But Assisi is gorgeous. It's like, that was my favourite city to be in because of how pretty it was. Rome and Florence were my favourites for practicality. So after Assisi, which has the best gelati ever, I swear, we went to Tuscany, which is where we stayed in a villa in this place called Cortine. And, but why? This lighting's terrible. Uh, but we also went to other places. We went to Pisa one day, went to San Gimignano another day, went to Monteregione, which is a place from Assassin's Creed, and so is San Gimignano. So, woo! I bought a book from Angelati from Monteregione. That was fun. And also, like, stole some picture snaps of other people's paintings, blow them up, and make it there. No. That's so mean. And then after Tuscany, which we were there for four nights, I think. Yeah, four nights. We stayed in Florence for three. I really like Florence. I think Florence is a beautiful city. It has, It's really packed with tourists. Very touristy. I also caught up with people from my school, which is pretty cool. Um, but I decided to keep walking and my mum decided to be the embarrassing mother and talk to them. Year 10s and 11s. I don't know them. Anyway, and then lastly, after Florence, we caught the train to Venice and we were there for four nights. And Venice is very different, very strange. I really like the boat rides. They're really fun. Um, but that's also when we, we left two nights ago to come back. And this it was really windy this morning, really rainy and windy. And it was crazy weather. I did not really appreciate it. Hmm. What are you going to do? So that was basically Italy. Um, this shirt came from Florence, Hard Rock Cafe. This necklace here is actually glass and that bracelet this bracelet whoops you can't even see it is also from hard rock so i'm wearing some italian clothes today well from what i got from italy we had so, so much fun but today what i'm going to talk to you guys about is um a new video obviously and i'm really actually really interested in this video so, and I've been thinking about it for a while, and I decided I wanted to make it an open discussion so you guys can uh, reply via video response. You can send me a personal inbox, or you can comment below, of course. Definitely, I want to hear your stories, because this is going to be about what got you into gaming, because I want to share my story, and I want to hear you, your guys' stories, so I hope that we can create an elaborate collaborative discussion. That was some big words by me. So I'll start with myself. You guys follow. Yep. So basically for me how it started, um, I became infatuated with video games when I was just six years old. 
because I used to watch my dad playing games such as Morrowind and Neverwinter. And mind you, I was, I'm young. I was not born when, when Sega Genesis were around and Mario and all that, they were around. But I, when they first were around, I was obviously came later. I love just sitting with my dad and watching him for hours as he immersed himself in the world. Then I would immerse myself in the world by role playing with myself in reality, which was very strange. But it was the Elder Scrolls, which really just, which I really invested myself into, um, because it gave my dad something and I'd bond over, because we weren't really that close, really as like father and daughter. But gaming obviously brought us closer because I would sit down there for hours. And just get so excited, like, oh, what's that? What's that? Even though it was fake and none of it was real. I also loved, this is really funny. Oh, God. I would collect sticks from the backyard that were really smooth. And I would pretend that I was in the game with my dad helping him out. And I would be, like, casting spells with the sticks and playing around in my dad's office while he played. And I'm like, I'm involved in the game, I'm in the game, and I was six. Good job, Corinne. At six years old, you're a nut. Oh my god. Um, what was also funny is that when Oblivion came out, my dad gave me a collector's edition t-shirt. The funny thing is, because I still didn't quite understand the gaming universe, I chucked out a collector's piece. Well done. I would have. I'm. I when my dad told me the other day because I can. I don't even. I don't remember. I almost died because I'm like. I really want that. Like I'm just like. I want that now. I, I was like dying. So I think six year old me deserves to get kicked and punched in the face because you do not throw away a collector's item as important as something from Elder Scrolls, ever. Bad. So Elder Scrolls was my first contact into video games as well as my dad would also let me you know like play play a little bit like he would let me move with the w key and the s and the d and the a and he would control the mouse because we didn't have playstation or xbox or any of that um we just played pc because my dad always played pc so that's what i played as well and then i that's why i got into pc gaming and how invested i came in it i became with it we would always do it without my mum really knowing what I was doing because she didn't really like video games. She still doesn't really get it, but she totally understands now because I make YouTube videos and she sees me do it all the time. <coughs> Pardon me. She's been in one. So, she's got to understand. But, unfortunately for her, when I was sick, she tried probably. She, I think she tried to stop me, but uh, my love for video games kind of only increased. Um, so, she gets it now. Because I'm nut, and I have so many video games, and that's all I want to spend my money on, aside from clothes and shoes. I'm such a girl. I was so excited when I got to be able to play my first video game, you know, aside from those little uh, classic girly Barbie games that you had when you were younger. I, Since I was subjected into the Elder Scrolls universe, it was only fitting that my, my first game that was, you know, coming out that was new was Oblivion. And I was in awe. It completely, and completely beat the game without my dad's help or anything. I did it all on my own and I was so proud of myself. And I think I played Oblivion for years. I played it for years, I think. Because that was, that was probably the, the longest time I've ever spent on a video game was in Oblivion. And that's still one of my favourite games. I still go back to it now just, to, just because I, I love the story and I love the world. And I think... If Skyrim had those kind of environments, but up, upper graphics, it would have been perfect. Because Skyrim is just too snowy. I don't know. I, I love the fact that it's fields and farm and um, forests and trees and stuff like that. And I don't know. I, I loved Oblivion. It was one of, definitely one of my top games ever. I don't know how many hours I spent after finishing the main storyline, developing my own stories in my head and playing them out as my character. And I make the modern stories in a medieval universe. Uh, I was completely in love with that game. I would role play with myself to create stories and stuff, and um, it was so much fun. Uh, even though I was like seven, maybe around eight at that time, I'm not really sure. But I, I stuck with Oblivion for so many years, and maybe that's why I was a little slow. But I, I, I love it. I still love it. So 
can't really complain with this choice of video game that I chose to play for so over many years. Obviously, I loved it. Good girl. After Oblivion, though, obviously, I did branch off, even though how hard it was for me to, branch off into other games, such as Mass Effect, which my dad also introduced me to, the first game, um, which started a long, long love for Bioware. And then it went to Dragon Age, the Dragon Age series, Assassin's, the Assassin's Creed series, Fallout 3. All of these games just made me fall in love with video games as, as a genre in general so much more than I already did because it allowed me to open up to first person shoot first person shooters different types of role playing games action games it's so um open and the video game universe is so different and diverse and there are so many games out there but I was sticking to of course like sort of role playing games mainly uh, obviously Fallout is a role playing game Mass Effect is Dragon Age is I always stuck to those games. And I think that they gave me, Elder Scrolls really did give me a, the ability to branch off in general because I played a game where I was, you know, the character and I had, it was a good storyline which wanted me to get games with even better storylines. And if I didn't ever, if I never watched my dad play Morrowind, I would never have gone into gaming. That's what I think about and I so I, I thank my dad because if he never sh if he never showed it to me I would never be in the situation I am now where I, I love it it's my it's what part of my life it's what I do it's important to me um I make it's, it's a huge part of my life now because I make YouTube videos about it meaning that I am passionate about video games I don't just do it because oh I just make a video I like to show off myself that's not what I do I make videos about it because I love video games and I, I love the world of it. I love how it's artsy and I love how everything about it is so different in different games and everything's... I'm getting off track and lightheaded because I just love video games so much. I love it so much. I don't know what I can say. It's, it's a form of art to me. It's a form of writing. It's a form of inspiration. That's also how I go into writing. I thank gaming for getting me in to be able to write well. Because in a video game, you have a story. Some stories are bad, some are good. But that game, video games gave me inspiration to write stories. So I am forever grateful for that one, definitely. Of course, as you can see, my love for video games has never let up, considering how many video games I bloody own. Whoops, I think I've topped my dad. Yeah, um, so I hope you enjoy my video and learning about, not learning, but finding out about how I got into video games. I hope you find it interesting. Or maybe you just want to share your own story, which I would love to hear. I definitely want to know how you guys got into video games. Or how you got into some form of video games. Anything. I would love to know about it. I also want to let you guys know that I am having a Q&A to celebrate the fact that I have over 300 subscribers. Um, I've already gotten a few questions. I see how many I'll get and then I'll do the Q&A. But I love doing Q&As. I think it's fun. Uh, that's why I like websites where you can ask your questions. It's cool. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, so until next time, please leave a comment below. Anything you like, please obviously share your story, video response, comment or inbox. Um, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be fantastic if you can get even more crazy wacko videos from this crazy wacko person right here. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day, be nice to each other, and eat gelati for me because I'm really missing it already. Australian gelati is not good as it is not the same. So thank you again. Thanks again for watching guys.